Welcome to another episode of the Bionic Watercolorist. So today we're basically looking at landscape basics like we did yesterday and um, this is going to be part two. So follow along and I'm uh, just going to do a quick review and then we're going to get going. So you may remember if you checked out the other videos, we did this one. And the whole purpose of this was just to basically learn perspective and to see how we drew this out. So we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to do it a little differently. And now we're going to, this horizon here is totally flat. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this part and uh, we'll get some mountains and some bumps and stuff in it. And we may even change our uh, earth or whatever. We're, we're going to put something else in here. We haven't figured it out yet. But so if we start... Again, we're just going to use, for this exercise, we're just going to use a standard sheet of white paper. So we know that we're going to put a horizon line on that. The big question is, is how much of the the horizon do we actually want to show? So, do we put it up here? Do we put it down here? If my suggestion is, is you know, you've got half, which is what we did the last time. But on this one, I think we're going to go two thirds. Somewhere around two-thirds. So, what we need to do is figure out eight and a half So, let's go to three So there we go this time. So we're going to have a lot of space this way. And we have very little sky. So the background isn't as big as the foreground. And plus, what we're going to do is we're going to put another celestial body. But we haven't figured out what it's going to be yet. But instead of going like a big one, we're going to go on the inside. And so there is our whatever it's going to be. We haven't figured it out. This is space. This is going to be black. But this is the main horizon line. If we were to draw this correctly, we'd really be drawing it at a slight curve because the earth curves. But because, you know, for all intents and purposes, it's straight. So we use a straight line to represent 
what is basically a curved line, but your eye can't figure it out. It looks straight. Uh, if you see pictures of the Earth from space, from the space shuttle and stuff, you can see the curvature of the Earth. So what we're going to do is we're thinking we want to pull and we want to pull uh, the foreground and we want to see what we're going to do. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm thinking we need to put some mountains in and stuff. So this is going to become the drawing. And so in the case of what we did the last time is I'm going to draw the entire thing and then you can watch it in high speed so that you know what I'm doing and then make it yourself. Now, you don't have to follow, you know, whatever. I mean, in this one, I made way, way too many craters. Like, so what we're going to do is we're going to put boulders in there and craters and little hills and mountains and we're going to see what we can do to make this look like another moonscape but this time we're going to break up this horizon line so anyway i'm going to stop and um i look forward to seeing you on the next episode of the Bionic Watercolorist.